Hey guys, it's Adam aka Swimming Bird and welcome to Animal Crossing New Leaf. It's a new month and that means new events in Gooston. And we're gonna go check out what's going on in the town. Let me grab my mail real quick though. Ooh, we got three letters and three gifts. Awesome. Okay, so let's head out. Now, I'm, <laughs> I'm guessing I'm probably pretty behind by this point. That seems to happen a lot in Animal Crossing, but we'll catch up. I'm only gonna do every so often uh, episodes. Whoa, geez. Oh, we already got a trick here. But even if this is a little late, at least it'll make the spooky times last a little longer. So uh, I want to see... Oh, hey, Cranston, what's going on? We should, probably shouldn't stand on this rickety old bridge, even though we built it not too long ago. Hey, Schmoopy, I'm glad I found you, new rules. You know what I'd like right now? A cherry. They grow right here in Gooston. I love them so much I'm drooling just thinking about them. Actually, all this drooling is getting gross. Ew, bird drool. Will you give me a cherry so I don't flood the town with my drool? Sure, they're over near Cooper's house. Yay, my appetite is ready and waiting, Newt Rules. We should read some letters real quick, though, before we go too far in the town exploring events. Let me see if anyone's in the town square as well. This is a nice place to read, because then we can sit under the shade of the tree, or at least stand under it so we don't trigger the little credits. So let's check out our letters. We've got one from Elvis here. To my amigo Adam. Man can't stay in one place. <gasps> no! <laughs> He has to get out there and see the world. I hope you take care of yourself till we meet again. Accept this pic of me in the meantime. From Elvis. Oh no! <gasps> he loved us so much that he left us a picture. This is my first villager picture, guys. Ah, Elvis must have really loved us. And he's gone. No, <laughs> we lost another of my favorite villagers. Ah, uh, let me look at the map real quick. Because, yeah, it looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Man, we're losing villagers like crazy. Don't you go anywhere. I love you. <laughs> Graham is just wandering around. He doesn't even know. Nobody knows. I didn't know. Man. Well, I, I guess it's like whenever I want a villager to leave, one of my favorites will leave. So I, so I should stop hoping and just accept when they leave or when they don't. Uh, who is this? Cranston. Hey, Adam. Thanks for coming to my birthday party. I'm awfully lucky to have a friend like you. Maybe I stepped on a lucky clover and got stuck on the bottom of my shoe from Curious Cranston. He didn't. He doesn't wear shoes. Okay, let's see what he gave me here. We'll save that last letter for later. A wrestler tank. Let's try that out. I got my little hoodie on here. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Might give that to somebody. Got the hoodie on because it's a little chilly in the fall. But uh, we could probably switch out. I, I'm trying to think who would look good in that. Elvis would have looked good in the wrestler tank. He looked good in anything. Well, at least we have Avery, the other cranky villager, who's also wearing Elvis's shirt. Did you kill him, Avery? Did you murder him and forge a letter with your chicken scratch? Hey, Shorty. I haven't seen you in a while. How you been? How you doing? <laughs> I think everyone in town's been a bit worried about you. Everything okay? Going all right? It's a oh no, he's got a flea. Let me get this flea off of you. Okay. I'm a little... Avery isn't bad. I was just... I liked Elvis better. But now I guess we can just kind of hang out with Avery. Hey, hey, Shorty, you say you want to say to me? Is it itchy itch? No. I'm just saying hi. I'm trying to get the, the flea off of you. Come here. You gotta be just the right... There we go length away from him. I didn't know birds could get fleas, but I guess they can. Okay. At least we still have one cranky villager. Hmm, what a relief. I thought I had the mange or something, but it was just a flea. Thanks, Shorty. Next time you have a flea, I'll totally help you out. Alright. But yeah, now we have two extra slots in the town. That means two new villagers eventually. Hey, there we go. I didn't know this guy showed up so early. What's up, buddy? Who is this? It's Jack. Check a treat. <laughs> I'm the mighty saw of Halloween, Jack. Wait, what's with that look on your face? Are you perhaps wondering if today is Halloween, pumpkin? Fear not. That glorious and spooky night is not quite here yet. It's the first, it's not the 31st. I came here today to look for loyal subjects who are willing to work for me all Halloween night. Hmm, you. You seem pretty sharp, unless my pumpkin eyes are playing tricks on me. When Halloween comes around on October 31st, would you like to be one of Jack's loyal subjects? Sure, if I can get something out of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it didn't take me long at all to find a servant. I'm the mayor here, you should serve me. Let's get started with what you're supposed to do on the day of the festival, Pumpkin. On Halloween, you're supposed to scare everyone in town. Scare them good and spooky. Your job is to find a costume that people in town are scared of and use that to scare them away. And of course, when I talk about costumes, yes, I certainly mean some sort of mask. To celebrate you joining my ranks as a servant, I'll give you one such item right now. Sweet, a free mask. Should try that on. Take this monster mask. Please collect as many of those scary items as you can so that you can, may spook people the right way. You can buy them at the Able Sisters shop as well. The price is fixed at 1,031 bells <laughs> October 31st. So that should be your hint. 
Oh, I do so love October 31st. Or oh, 10 or 31. Pumpkin. And I'm going to tell you something vitally important. I really love candy. During Halloween, everyone will else will ask you for candy as well, so make sure you have enough to go around. Well, was I clear enough in explaining your role? Yep, I'm ready. So we gotta get as much candy as we can and spooky masks. I'm glad to have such a smart and eager servant. Right, please collect some spooky masks and candy by Halloween. And Halloween festival starts around 6 p.m. Uh, good luck with your preparations, pumpkin. Whoa! Hee hee hee, I'm counting on you. He just disappeared. Whoa, that was creepy. He was right near where Elvis's house was. And he had a deep voice. Maybe Jack is secretly Elvis. Let's get a cherry while we're over here. No campers today, unfortunately. But we got a lot going on, because... Yeah, we got to prep for Halloween. Let me try on that monster mask that we just got. wonder if I can sit on a stump when I change my stuff out. No, you can't, can't actually do anything when you're on the stump. Okay, so let's try this on. Whoa, I'm a little Frankenstein. Okay, cool. I'm going to stack these. All right. I can't wear my uh, my beak when I have this on, but we'll use it for now. Cooper's got some mail. Okay, it doesn't look like any of the other other villagers are missing, luckily. we got to re read that last letter, and then maybe we can go check out the shop, because he mentioned that uh, something's going on at the Ables. Some more monster masks? Consider Adam. Cute things. That's all I care about. And this time I found the cutest of the cute. This just has to be the next big thing in town, and I'm trusting you to start the fad. Please use it, Pinky. I'm a little worried about Pink, or uh, Tangy leaving because Pinky's the one that I want to leave a little more, but what did we get? A stadometer. There's st stadiometer. I don't even know what that is. I guess we'll find out. We gotta go put Elvis's picture in the house here today. Hey! Someone was looking at the bulletin board and lost a mitten. Aha, I picked up a lost item. I wonder if someone dropped this. Maybe I should look for the owner. Okay, so we can do that as well. So let's see. Ooh, come on down. We're gonna have a sale today. Oh, from 7 p.m. Okay, and then it goes Cranston's birthday. So yeah, I was tr I'm trying to only play sporadically so that we don't fall too be behind in you know, if I uh, don't always do episodes every day and uh, just recording these as I go. But yeah, I skipped a few, and that was probably what triggered. Uh, what's his Elvis? <laughs> I've already forgot his name because he's left and he's fading from my memory. At least I'll have that picture to rem remember him by. Okay, let's see what we got. Hey, Poppy's here. I should grab another persimmon while I'm here, because I've uh, got one, but I need to uh, plant that as well. And we're supposed to be collecting fertilizer. I need 30 bags, so it's going to take quite a bit before I can get that much fertilizer, but I've got... Oh, no, I don't have any room. Okay. Well, I guess we can't get anything here right now. I could just hide some stuff in my pockets, like the stadometer. I'll just put that right back in there. we got to go sell some of this stuff and get rid of it and give Cranston his cherry. And, uh, there we go. Okay. Now we have some room. I might, well, I might as well just leave that. Actually, I, should, I keep <laughs> changing my mind, but I'm like, I need to get this so I don't forget later. Sometimes I, I do the video and, and, uh, I'm like, okay, done for the day, and then I forget to go back and buy some of the stuff. Hey, there's candy. Okay, so I need to start stocking up on that. Let's see what else is going on up here, if they have anything cool. The sale is not till later, but they might have some cool stuff for sale. I don't know if there's anything spoopy themed, but we'll see. Okay, we got a chalkboard. Fl I like that flamingo. Oh, yeah, nice. What is this? This is cool. A spoopy dresser. Um, that's pretty cool. Okay, it's pretty... Oh, it's not too expensive. Maybe I'll try to collect those. That would be cool to have a themed room. If I go down that road, though, I'm going to have so much pumpkin-themed stuff. So I should maybe only buy the ones that I actually like and not, you know, try to devote a whole room to it or something. Let's see what we got in here. Man, she has some crazy stuff. It seems like sometimes these change out. And sometimes they don't. It's weird. Like, those f switch sides and this couch is kind of nice. But everything's so expensive here. Unless I see something that I really, really want. I probably won't be getting too many Gracie things. Just because they're on the pricey side. Once you get to the top of the uh, the TNT Emporium, there should just be, like, a fire ladder or something. So you can just jump right out. Or, like, a, a m mattress or something outside the window. Because then once I have gone through the store, I can just, you know, run through. Hey, Leaf, I already bought stuff from you. He's just kind of running over, <laughs> eager to sell more. Okay, let's check out the Able Sisters, and then we got to find who lost this lost item. And also, we'll finish up with uh, showing up El or showing Elvis's pick, and uh, want to see what that looks like. I got to place it in a nice spot in my house. The tiny sores Jurassic Park pattern looks so weird on the umbrella when it's all together. Hey, I think I have. Do I? Ha oh, I don't have this. Oh, I've been trying to get the spacesuit. I want to get the uh, all the pieces of the spacesuit, and I think I'm missing. The shirt is like the one piece that I'm missing. 
There's a cool armor, too. Oh, man. I don't have any room. I could try it on, but no. Okay, let's see what's el what else is here. They're supposed to have sp uh, spooky masks, so let's check out what uh, LaBelle has on offer here. <gasps> oh, that one's so cool. It's like a wolf or a werewolf or something. There it is. Oh, that looks awesome. I don't have any room. Okay, well, let's go back to uh, <laughs> to giving Cranston... We'll walk around the town, kind of look for who lost this mitten, and give Cranston his cherry, and then we can... I'll come back later. I just have to remember to come back <laughs> and buy that stuff. All right. Yeah, I, uh, I think my house is due for a redesign. We're going to put the Elvis picture somewhere, but I really need... That's one of the things. I got rid of the bamboo, and I still need to get rid of more flowers and try to do some more public works. But the big thing is a long-term goal here. I need to reorganize my house because it's very... Oop, almost sat on you, bug. Sorry. My house is very disorganized. There's Cranston. Needs better themes to the rooms. Here is your cherry, buddy. Uh -huh. Is that fruit I see? Hmm. Here it is. I could give him a flea or a persimmon. He doesn't want those, though. He might eat a flea. Man, I can't wait another second. Down the hatch. Don't eat the stem. You glutton. Oh, yeah, just what I wanted. That was so tasty. Oh, I should give you something, shouldn't I? Okay, please take my space shuttle as thanks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> just, a, just happen to have a space shuttle in my pocket here. Hmm, that was great. Thank you, new rules. All right. We should also investigate and ask him about the lost item. I don't know if he would wear mittens, but... Who knows? Gotta keep those wings warm, or maybe even his feet. Sorry, this isn't my new rules, but with Detective Schmoopy hot on the case, I'm sure the owner will be found before too long. Detective Schmoopy. He was a renegade cop. No one wanted to work with him on the force. Hey, is that Pinky? I can't tell. There she is. She actually hid behind the tree despite being so big. Hey, where have you been? It's been a while. Never mind, just glad you're back, Schmoopy. Here, did you lose this mitten? Hey, uh, Schmoopy, what's going on, Dingle Dong? <laughs> She's using Graham's catchphrase. How about this? I think she could wear this. It looks like her style, maybe. Sorry, but it's not mine. Why don't you try someone else, Dingle Dong? Sounds like she's all aggravated. Try someone else, Dingle Dong. All right, Detective Schmoopy is turning up nothing so far. Graham. Hey, Adam, looking good. As always, Dingle Dog. So what's going on? <laughs> Graham, is this your adorable little mitten for your hamster paws? I really want to get a deer villager. That's another one that's new in New Leaf. Oh, nope, this isn't mine. Even if it is adorable, Dingle Dong. I'm sorry, but you should probably ask someone else about it, all right? Dingle Dong. Stop calling me Dingle Dong, you Dingle Dongs. All right, <laughs> let's get over here. See who else is walking around. I don't know if uh, I might have to go into some houses to find stuff. There's dandelions. I gotta pick those. I think they're technically weeds. This is, uh, I can't remember what was here. I don't think there it was anything, really. It was just a... A little patch. Now I can't put my shovel away because, <laughs> or any of my tools because I just picked up that. I didn't think about that. Okay, Cranston's not home. I wonder, what if Jack lost his mitten and he'll never come back for it? Or Elvis! Ah, uh, Tangy. Tangy's not home. She might be around here somewhere. Yeah, being gone, even with a beautiful town, if you're gone for a little while, weeds and dandelions and stuff start to pop up. I always see the side of that stump and think there's a mushroom there, but there usually isn't. The mushrooms will start growing more now, I think, because it's getting deeper into the fall. Look at all these clovers. This is crazy. If I get a four-leaf clover, I'm not going to have room for it. Uh, but yeah, the mushrooms will probably start growing more. And we also have the uh, the different stumps that are special that are supposed to grow mushrooms more. Okay, what's going on? Drop something? Hmm. Here we go. How about this? Is this yours? Yeah, I don't know if you could fit your wing in there. Nope, it's not mine. All right, simple enough. So yeah, <laughs> who the heck's mitten is this? We gotta end the episode here eventually. Let me see, Brofina? Brofina's home. I bet it's Brofina's. I don't think Ribot, I know his robotic frog fingers are, get probably cold, especially in the fall now, but I don't know if he would use a mitten. Jeez, Brofina, got bugs and fish and stuff everywhere. She's always asking for this type of stuff. I like her bed though. Dumpling, is that you? Well, it's been a while. Have you been busy or what? Okay, she seems, she seems like she needs a uh, different shirt. She's got this, like, track jacket on or something. I don't know what that is. Yeah, is this yours, you little bird? Oh, my mitten. Where did you find it, Dumbly? Never mind, I'm just glad you did. Well, of course, I don't wear that mitten, Clock, yeah? What? I keep a porcelain figure in there. I'm glad you found Canoeing Girl before she broke. <laughs> canoeing Girl. She's like a hummel. I'm so glad you made the delivery, Dumbly. So here, take my lap of tea. And thanks. 
All right, I guess that was worth it. Okay, let's head back to the home. Better not. I better be more careful with this from now on, Dumpling. Man, Grofina, really wasn't that worth it. She's still so happy to see me. I know <laughs> the the villagers have been toned down in terms of how mean they can be significantly in the the newer game. We'll see if that continues in the next version. But yeah, it's weird because usually the the cranky villagers and the snooty ones are like really they can be really mean to you. And Brofina can be a little, you know, on the edge sometimes, but she's never too mean. I think she, uh, she just is a little abrasive <laughs> to deal with sometimes. Okay, if I have room over here, I put my samurai, uh, armor there on a mannequin. So now we might have more room here. You know what I could do is, uh, flip this around, and then we have a very special place for our picture of Elvis. <laughs> I'm so sad, but it's cool that I got, like, I'm glad that he liked me. Because you really have to, like, be good to them to uh, get a picture. I think it's more likely when they leave that they'll give you one. Oh, there's probably an inscription on it. Let me see if I can touch it. There we go. Elvis's picture. Huh? There's a message written in small letters on the back of the photograph. He was born on July 23rd. He's a Leo, of course. <laughs> His favorite saying is, Better to live a coward than a dead hero. What? <laughs> I thought Elvis would be more brave. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. With two spots gone in the village, that means more people are going to move in, and we've got some exciting events ahead. I'll see you next time for more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Goodbye.